Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, we are going to be taking the 5070 Ti through the second open beta test for Battlefield 6. So our um, RDX 5070 Ti paired with a Ryzen 7 9800X 3D, and it's gonna be 1080p, 1440p, 4K, and with and without DLSS on. So starting off, we're gonna go with low uh, graphic quality, 1080p and we'll be using DLAA with no upscaling on at the moment. All right, so starting off, it's 5070 Ti starting off pretty strong with an average of 234 FPS, a 1% low of 167 and a 0.1% low of 147. And same as with the 9070 XT, the uh, frame time graph is relatively stable. There's very little activity going on. There's no massive spikes or anything like that, which is nice to see especially in a game like this. But since the 970 XT video, I can guarantee my performance has not gotten better. I see nobody. Well, maybe it got a little better. I killed two people, not bad. So we ended up with an average of 230 FPS, a 1% low of 168, and a 0.1% low of 147. Let's go and bump the quality up to, okay, let's bump the quality up to ultra. We're doing a little bit of a dip, so now we're down to 183 average FPS with a 1% low of 128 and 0.1% low of 115. Still a very strong performance. This is not an overly demanding game uh, for the GPU. It is going to be demanding on the CPU because you're going to be having uh, fairly high frame rates in order to achieve that. Uh, like you see right now, we're only at 94, 95%. So we are getting a little ball neck by the CPU. All the force you got me. So in there, we uh, yeah we did drop a little bit, but we're still averaging 181 FPS, a 1% low of 129, and a 0.1% low of 119. So the other map uh, was overrun. I was able to stay alive for very long. So I'm going to do a new round and going to have start with Ultra and go on to DLSS quality. All right, so hopefully I can stay alive long enough to actually do a decent test here. So like I said, we're on graphics preset is set to ultra and DLSS is set to quality. Now we're starting off at 209 FPS for the average with 158 to the 1% and 0.1% low at 140. And we are back in the same map. Anyone going to pop through here? It does not look like it. The frame rate seems to be pretty consistent. Really, regardless of where you are on the map, the uh, performance is relatively consistent. Seeing it around 205, 210. With the uh, frame time graph pretty much the whole way being relatively uh, stable. Sorry, I mean, during like gunfights, it's staying relatively stable, still hitting around 204. Where are these people coming from? Playing on low is dipping down a little bit to 120 FPS, 127 FPS, but the uh, average is still staying relatively stable, and so is the 1% low. Yeah. 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 Actually, getting a few kills this game. What is going on? So moving on to balanced. Uh, in this area, I don't know if what's going on. So the FPS is dipping quite a bit. Uh, seems to be a little bit higher CPU utilization. So we're getting a little bit of a bottleneck because we're only using 80, uh, yeah. So we have a 5070 Ti utilization of 
87%. So that is interesting. It dipped down quite a bit in that area. Let's try a different area. So yeah, we're only on balanced. We're hitting 208 FPS, 1% low of 161 and 0.1% low of 150. And we're getting a little bit of a CPU bottleneck because we're up in the 65 plus percent range. And that is bringing the 5070 Ti utilization down to the low 90s, high 80s. So again, the 5070 Ti is not a 1080p card. It is what it is. So uh, you are going to get quite a bit of a bottleneck at 1080p using um upscaling so as i like there's a cpu out there that's going to give you a better performance than the 9800 it's 3d it is three it's kind of staying uh pretty stable it's 208 209 average all right so let's actually play this game at the resolution and that it is meant to for 850 ti let's go on to uh 1440p all right, let's start off with low graphics quality and turn DLSS back off and use DLAA. All right, so there's a little bit of a dip from 1080p, but we're still averaging 236 FPS with 160, 170 uh, for the 1% and 0.1% low of 152. And people are shooting and I can't tell from where. I don't know why they keep putting me on the losing team. Makes it really hard to do any kind of benchmarking because I don't live long enough to do anything. So we're still averaging about 231 FPS. It has not been dipping down any. I feel like I'm going to die any second now. Yeah, there we go. Let's go and turn this on to Ultra. Doop, doop, doop. There we go. All right, so with Ultra settings, the uh, FPS is dipping down. We're averaging about 230 down to 175. So we are seeing roughly, I don't know, 25, 30% dip in performance. With the 1% low being 126 and 0.1% low being 110 FPS. And the frame time graph being, again, a little, you can see it kind of going a little wavy, but uh, it's relatively stable. Inside, still seeing the same FPS. I saw a green and I thought he was an ally. So yeah, you do get a little bit of a dip, uh, but not that bad. 173 FPS, 1% low of 124, and a 0.1% low of 107. And if we turn DLSS on quality, so we're from 175 without any upscaling on. It did ping over 190, and now we're settling down to around 187. All right, so it seems to be settling in at around 187 FPS uh, with a 1% low of 137 and 0.1% low of 113. And it still seems like we are being CPU bottleneck because we're only getting a GPU utilization of hovering between 85 and 95%. So coming in the building, the FPS actually kind of skyrocketed uh, to around 220, and it's starting to level out now that I can see inside. So being in the building is bringing the average FPS up. All right, going to balance outside, we are picking up a couple extra FPS. So it went from like 185 up to 213, with the 1% low being 156 and 0.1% low being 131. And it seems like eight gigabytes is probably enough to play this game, considering we're only using about 7.7 .7 at the moment at 1440p. All right, moving on to performance. And the FPS is jumping a little bit more as to be expected. Oh, what's going on here with that dip? There we go. 
Well, it was up, and now it came down. It is very weird how the different scenes has vastly different uh, FPS. Um, when I was trying it on an i7 XT, it seemed to be a little bit more stable. That thing really didn't depend on where you were. You get roughly the same FPS, but in here, it's making a difference. It's some very inconsistent performance here. So on performance upscaling, yeah, we're averaging around 200. And the 1% low is 140, and 0.1% low is 112. Oh, it's just coming up to 112 now. How did he kill me so fast? Anyway, so let's see if we get any better performance out of ultra performance. Eddie. Okay, so now with ultra performance, we are jumping up to 220. And it's slowly coming no, It's coming down now, so we're not getting much difference between balanced performance and ultra performance. I think it all has to do with the CPU is bottlenecking and the GPU is bottlenecking that performance. So now we're here, we're averaging 203 with a 1% low of 155 and a 0.1% low of 138. As we are being a CPU bottleneck, so it's with the many hundred three Ds, so there's nothing you can do really uh, to get that much more performance out of uh, the GPU at the 5070 Ti. And there we go. That's, now you have it. So it's looking like the 970 or the 5070. TI is going to be, you're know, going to be able to play 4K, no problem with it. So um, let's jump into that. All right, so now it's time to jump into a little 4K action. And we're going to start off with low graphics. And DLSS turned off. And there we are at 4K. All right, so starting off, we're averaging 94 FPS. A little bit below that, we have 1% low and 0.1% low. Right, so as we go on, the FPS is kind of going up a bit. We're now averaging 100 with a 1% low of 82 and a 0.1% low of 76. So again, 4K, no problem for 5070 Ti. Oh, I'm not sure where I am. Oh, there we go. Shot in the back. All right, so... Let's turn on ultra graphics. All right, so we're seeing a little bit of a dip from 100 FPS down to 60, uh, 76, which isn't too bad. And the 1% low and 0.1% lows are a little bit lower at 62 and 60. Ah, so the graphics in this game look pretty good for the performance that you're getting. So yeah, we're averaging there after running around a little bit, uh, 76 FPS. So it does fluctuate a little bit, but not too much. Oh, can I get you? You look. All right. With the 1% low of 62 and 0.1% low of 58. And if we turn DLS on, and I go to quality DLSS. And that brings us back up to around 100 FPS. Of course, oh, someone in that window. Oh, well, someone shoot me. Someone shoot me. You need to get out of here. Oh. Of course, he shoots me in the back. All right, let's uh, start this over. So we ended up at 104 FPS. 82 for the 1%, and I can't remember what it said for the 0.1%. Let's see if it stays the same starting somewhere else. So starting off in this other relatively the same, we're at 105 FPS average, 87 for the 1% low, and 81 for the 0.1% low. And get out of there. But overall, everything does remain fairly uh, fairly stable. No, where was that from? 
All right, so we ended up with 105 FPS, average 85 for the 1% low and 74 for the 0.1% low. Still, and uh, turn the upscaling up a little bit more. And we'll go to balanced. Get a little extra FPS, but not much, because we're only going from 66% upscale to a 60% upscale. So we picked up an extra 10-ish FPS from around 105 to 113. And picked up a couple extra on the 1% and 0.1% low, but not that much. All right, that didn't last long. So we ended up with 115, so just a little bit above quality, um, but not that much to really get uh, a little bit more. We need to go to performance and probably ultra performance. So moving to performance, that's going to give us a 50% upscale. All right, so we pretty much jumped from 114 FPS up to 120. Oh, come on. So in this area, it's creeping up a little bit to 130 FPS with the 1% low at 103 and 0.1% low at 89. So the point one percent lows in this game are very good. We do have the occasional little spike, um, but it's rare and it's not uh, persistent. So I just feel like as long as you can get a good average frame rate, uh, your one percent and point one percent lows will be pretty good. Anyways, that's with the nine eight hundred X three D. I need to test this with like a nine six hundred X and see how the one percent and point one percent lows. Um, Share there. Nope. So in there, 128 FPS, 1% low of 96, and 0.1% low of 89. So let's do max upscaling with DLS. DLSS, and we're going to go to Ultra Performance. Now this is a 33% upscale or 30% somewhere around there. All right, now with Ultra Performance, this is like the third time doing this because I keep dying. Um, you are going to notice the quality of the graphics is starting to degrade. Um, up close, things don't look too bad, but when you start looking off in the distance, uh, it doesn't look that great, um, especially with explosions. Let's see if we can find an explosion here. Like some of that fire doesn't look that great. Um, that's pretty close. But like over there, it's starting to hurt a fact a little bit. And it doesn't look very realistic. And just the shadowing, um, the image shadow of like from these, they don't look very good uh, going from ultra performance up upscaling. Yeah, so up close in like these buildings th stuff, things don't look too bad um, upscaling from ultra performance. But when you start looking off in the distance, looking at leaves, the, uh, the graphics are starting to degrade uh, just due to the nature of upscaling. Let's see if we can find a good um, explosion like you can see a lot of shadowing and flickering with the leaves and stuff like that even like those shutters it's just not able to recreate um, those graphics those images very well but for the most part we are getting pretty good uh, performance as far as FPS goes we're at 148 FPS so that's quite a big jump over the 130 we were getting before with a 106 1% low and 86 for the 0.1% low uh, it's just like, do you want the extra graphics for, or sacrifice graphics for the extra performance? Uh, with no upscaling, the game performs very well. You get a relatively high FPS. Um, you're not going to get ultra high, like 144 plus FPS at a native with 5070 Ti, but 75 with um, uh, ultra graphics on, or if you want lower graphics, uh, you can get around 100 FPS, which is pretty decent.